Hello everyone and welcome back to Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Sorry about the lack of episodes last week. I actually got really sick and had no voice for like five or six days. So I, I was hoping, even if I wasn't going to be able to whole, do the whole week, I was hoping to maybe do a couple towards like the end of last week. I, I had nothing. Uh, even the, I, I don't entirely have the judge's voice back, so he's probably going to sound different. Uh, probably won't go on, on, on as many tangents either, which, uh, in your opinion, may be a good thing. Uh, anyway, let's continue on. How oh, dare you? Uh, Mr. Justice, are you accusing the witness of some sort of crime? Yes. Yes, I am. Florent LaBelle, I accuse you of the murder of Alderman Rex Kayubi. Uh. Got him. I think the... Maybe it's just me, the volume looks loud. Order, order! Mr. LaBelle? You've been accused of murder. Do you have anything to say in your defense? How could you possibly accuse me? The embodiment of beauty. Way to go, Apollo! This is conclusive. the conclusive evidence we need. Magnifico! We've got you now. We know you killed the Alderman. Now admit it. I, I, uh, uh. Silence. Ah, oh, crap. Enough of your silly games, just Stono. This prancing peacock could not possibly be the killer. Objection. What are you talking about? His alibi has already crumbled to dust. And I just proved he was in the fox chamber while it was still locked tight. Silence. Could he have not seen the statue in its true form before the murder? After all, he was close friends with the Alderman. Ergo... Yeah, yes, that's right. I clearly remember it now. Alderman QB told me about it. About what the statue actually looked like. I mean, he was a good friend of mine. <laughs> oh. Yeah, right. He wouldn't show you a secret gift just like that. Or it has been proven that he was not present at the scene of the crime. It has? Forgotten, have we? We'll call a little scamp statement, if you will. When Jinxie Tenma unlocked the fox chamber, she saw the alderman and the mayor collapse therein, and no one else. Oh. Dang it. The fact is, it was you two that who made that apparent in yesterday's court session. Thus, Florent the Bell could not possibly have been in that locked room. Uh, no! Ah, no! Oh, we had him! I just don't get it. How could Jinxie not have seen the bell? Mm, the proof is incontrovertible. No room for debate exists. You might not write your baldness. Mm, it does seem mildly conclusive. The facts point to the defendant and victim being the only people in that locked room. And moreover, the defendant has already confessed. Silence. Can I... Can I, can I get my objection out? No? It's not... It's not how this works? You cannot defend the indefensible. Your role in this charade is over, Justice Dono. But... but, but I'm a lawyer. You're this trial would last an eternity if we were to keep crossing blades with these simpletons. It is high time you brought down the hammer of justice. Mm, a point well made. I believe it's, uh, it's time to declare a verdict. What? The court finds the defendant, Damien Tenma. Kaka, kaka. It would seem my time is at hand. M Mayor Tenma? Counselor, there's a matter to which I must testify. I recall it now only for your good graces. Uh, counselor? Oh, right, he must mean me. Has he finally remembered what happened before that blow to his head? Bailiff, don't just stand there. Seize him. It's no good. I can't restrain him. Kaka, kaka. Know me in despair. For I am Ten Mataro, Demon Lord of the Yokai. Yes, this is helping. I can tell. Uh, Mr. Justice, do something. 
Since when am I responsible for court security? Apollo, this is our chance. We might get some new information out of him. Your Honor, seeing as our client has something new to say, I believe due process demands that we hear him out, even if he is a yokai. <clears throat> when you put it that way, <laughs> still, I believe testimony by a yokai is unprecedented in the legal world. Hmm. Unprecedented in absurdity, more like. All right then, Mr. Damien Tenma, or should I say Mr. Tenma Taro? Y your testimony, please. I shall now speak of recollections most real, courtesy of my host, Damien Tenma. Heed these words, mortals, and hear them, but f uh, for hear them, but once you shall. Caw, caw. The ruler of demon kind. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel. Hold on. There we go. Barely conscious was Damien there amid the darkness. Suddenly, two yokai did appear. On one side, I, Tenmatara, ruler of demon kind. And on the other, my mortal enemy, the nine tailed fox. Yes. That's helping. Um, so is the defendant asserting that the room he was in was uh, very dark at the time? Hmm, strange as it may be, yes, indeed, all was in darkness. And the part about Tenmataro and the Ninetail Fox being there? Yes, that too. Tenmataro towered overhead and the Ninetail Fox glittered gold. Ah, I call animal abuse, Your Honor. Hmm, <clears throat> it would seem the defendant's recollections are not to be trusted. Mm, yes. Truth be told, my host's recollections are still a bit fuzzy, as if half dreamt that happening lingers in his mind. Apollo, maybe I can help here. Really? Oh, you mean... Yeah, I can hear it. The discord in his heart. I sense an unusual emotion in the mayor's memory of that event. Okay, I just hope our findings don't come back to haunt us. Again. All right. I, ooh, I don't remember the buttons. Okay. So we have shock. One side eye, Tematara. So we have shock and sadness. And the other, my mortal enemy, the nine tailed. Oh, wait! Oh, there it is! How do I do this? Yeah, that's that's the one. That's weird. That's his mortal enemy. Why would he be. Happy? When the nine tailed fox appeared, you not only experienced shock and sadness, but also something like joy as well. Joy? Hmm. Perhaps it was joy at the light coming to my eyes at long last. A long and terrible creaking did pierce the silence. And then there was light. On reflection, it was a door that did produce that infernal racket. A creaking door? Like, say, ah, you must be talking about the forbidden chamber door. It does make a lot of noise. So this means the Forbidden Chamber really was opened. But what about the sudden light he described? I think I know. He mentioned darkness and Tenmataro towering overhead. Maybe the mayor wasn't really in the Fox Chamber at the time of the crime. Mr. Mayor, did the darkness that you were in happen to be here? Wait. Right? Where was the mayor during the murder? Right? Am I thinking about this? It's been, oh my god, it's been so long. That would make sense with what he's seen. 
the Forbidden Chamber. Was it not the Fox Chamber where the murder did occur? Right! Yes, but it all makes sense if you were in the Forbidden Chamber. The terrible creaking sound was probably the Forbidden Chamber's door opening. And the towering ten Matar you saw, most likely the Forbidden Chamber's statue. Yes! Why, yes, that would explain it. The darkness and the staff in the demon's grasp. But even if all that's true, then what about the nine-tailed fox? Um, maybe he was seeing things, just like Jinxie and her imaginary yokai? Fantastico, Apollo, it's entirely possible. In a groggy dream like straight, people can misremember things and events. Misremember, you say? Hmm. Let me think. Ah, uh, I do believe I remember now. That, that was not the nine-tailed fox, it was... The Amazing Nine-Tails. What? The Amazing Nine Tails? Hmm, at first, this is but a dream, I thought. Now, however, most clearly do I recall it. It was the Amazing Nine Tails who did open the Forbidden Chamber's door. Alright, we reduced the noise level, so that should help. I am sorry I asked. The amazing Nine Tails? But that was the victim, Alderin Kyuubi, right? Yeah, why would he open the Forbidden Chamber? Wasn't he trying to keep it sealed? Never mind that, this is completely new information. Let me enter it and run an update. Barely conscious was Damien there in the Forbidden Chamber. Okay, so just sadness. Makes sense. I'm in the darkness of my statue of Tamataro loomed overhead. Okay, so shock. I don't know what they're actually called, but I'm just gonna call them shock and sadness. The door did open, and a shaft of light did pierce the gloom. Okay, so we know why he was happy there. The amazing Nine Tails. All right, so why is he sad there? Ah, right. That doesn't make any sense. I could see being joyed. I could see being shocked. But why would he be sad? Alright, explain your crying face. When the amazing Nine Tails opened the chamber, banishing the darkness within, you felt joy, but didn't you also feel shock and sadness? Hmm. Yes, in the hazy depths of my mind, I do recollect something of that nature. I believe it was of the fiend's cape of red. For when I did behold it, a great wave of sadness did inexplicably wash over me. We're getting there. We, right, we still got more to work with. A cape of red. Apollo, we reduced the noise level. Oh, but there's still a little left. Mayor Tenma, why were you sad when you saw the red cape? Hmm. Why indeed? What could this mean? I guess his memory is still a little spotty. I know because his latest recollection contradicts the evidence. Yeah, it's one of those contradictions that slaps you right across the face. Hmm, something this obvious could arise when someone is trying to force a fuzzy memory into a definitive shape. Apollo, I know what you have to do. You need to present evidence that contradicts the image you see. Oh, so it's basically the same as usual cross-examination process. Okay, time to review the evidence. Look out, contradiction. Here comes justice. I have to present. Oh! When you lay there in the forbidden chamber, okay. Amid the darkness, a mighty statue Temitar loomed overhead. I don't think I'm gonna have anything that contradicts that. Suddenly the door did open and a shaft of light did pierce the gloom. I don't know that we're gonna get anything that contradicts that. Oh, here we go. Red the amazing Ninetales had come to the rescue. What's in the scroll? Oh, wait, do we have a... What's the amazing nine tail crime scene? A mask found washed up by the riverside. It might have been the crime... At the crime scene. What hair inside? Oh... 
doesn't wear a red cape. Okay. Oh, that's it. Oh, is it? Uh, sorry, the <sighs> keep losing the audio. I'm hope I'm hoping that's not coming through on on the recording. It's just a stupid Bluetooth headset. Right, that's got to be it. Said the amazing Nine Tails cape was red. Are you sure about that? Yes. Well, I do believe it was a red cape I saw, but Mayor Tenma, does this cape look red to you? Oh, that, that certainly does not look red. Not even scarlet or crimson either. Nevertheless, upon my liberation, something red did fill me as yet my yet as yet hazy field of view. And I thought to myself, ah, the amazing Ninetales is arrayed in a cape of red. What would have been red? What would have been red? So you mistook that red something for his cape, huh? Hmm, apparently so. Remembering it now brings a great sadness upon me. So the red something probably wasn't a cape after all. Maybe the, that great sadness he mentioned is what's interfering with his memory. Well, you would have seen the fox chamber behind the amazing nine tails. What red object could he have seen that would have been that shocking? I know. Could it have been... Mr. Mayor, was the red thing you saw this, uh... What now? Red thing we saw. What? I don't remember seeing any red. Oh, could it have been that? Could have been that. Could also be the blood. I don't have anything else that's red. What? Is he seeing this? The statue has traces of blood from the defendant Damien Tenma on it. It was apparently wrapped in a large cloth on which the defendant's blood was also found. No fingerprints could be lifted from the cloth. towards the crime scene photo. Simply because it's of, it's of the fox chamber. <sighs> Bloody footprints and black feathers scattered on top of blood. So blood got on the feathers that made them look red. Right? Okay. What else do we have? I don't know. I don't feel... I don't feel good about that. The police seen him calling the police. They passed each other. It been in the foyer. He was carrying a staff-like implement. She could, couldn't call for help. No one else was in the hall. No, 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 no. I think that's it. The feathers were covered in blood. That gave it the appearance of being red. So the red feathers. Okay. 
If that's not it, I have nothing. I have no ideas. Take that. Something red that could produce a deep sadness. Could it be, Mr. Tenma, that you saw... That what you saw was the Alderman's blood. Blood? Why, yes! It was blood. Ah. <laughs> all these sound effects. It's all coming back to me now. It wasn't a red cape that I saw. It was lying behind the amazing Ninetales, the Alderman's bloody body. Eek! Oh. I thought he was like half in Tenmataro garb, half in the Ninetales fa- okay. I was right. It was the blood. I at least had that going for me. There we go. Bye bye. <laughs> His noise level is down to zero. I think he's remembered everything now. Does this mean the amazing Nine Tails killed Alderman Kayubi? But the Alderman was the amazing Nine Tails. So how exactly would that work? Well, I, I mean, someone else had to be it. Hey, I asked you first. Well, Mr. Justice, you sure know how to make a complicated matter even more complicated. True, but at the time of the crime, our client was in the Forbidden Chamber. Moreover... Silence. No, I don't you think this is strange? The, the little scamp has already confirmed her father to be in the Fox Chamber. But she said not about seeing the amazing Ninetales there. Ugh, you just had to bring that up, didn't you? Jinxie didn't see LaBelle there, either. It's so weird. Who really was in that room, then? Uh, would the defense care to share any theories with the court? Uh, I would like to share some conjecture. Can you explain the inconsistency between- uh, Can you explain the inconsistencies between the defendant's testimony and his daughter's? I don't know. <sighs> what do we have to work with? I can I can see I can see where the pieces are eventually gonna start falling in place. But I'm just I'm missing a step to get there. Can I right now, or can't I? I don't think... I don't think any of the evidence I have... ...creates an inconsistency. wrestler who sparked the monster craze. He's the municipal mer He's against the municipal merger. No one knows his true identity. The deceased alderman of Nine Tails Vale, his snow white hair was particularly striking. Turns out that his alibi is not to be trusted. Yeah, that's very true. The caretaker for Kiwi Manor. He was busy sneaking into the Forbidden Chamber at the time of the murder. Oh. Can I can do this? Yes, uh, of course I can explain it. Because if I don't, we're in serious trouble. That's true. Not mm, with more of your bluffs and fairy tales, I trust. Fair and more than justice, don't know. I shall have your head if you fail to explain this. Eep! What a good old-fashioned penalty. Well, Mr. Justice, let's see if you have a head uh, worth keeping on your shoulders. First of all, Mr. LaBelle was definitely in the Fox Chamber while it was locked. We also know that Mayor Tenma was in the Forbidden Chamber based on his testimony. 
These two facts are crucial to my explanation, so let us consider the following question. If the facts point to Florent LaBelle and the victim being there at the scene, why did Jinxie Tenma see her father, Mayor Tenma, as the, in the victim? Oh, I have a different idea. Mm, a very good question indeed, and I suppose you have an answer for us. I have one. That kind of explains the confession, too. How the bell would know that. Sadly, you would be supposing wrong. Um, you think she could have mistaken the bell for the mayor? That's kind of where I'm going. That's what I think. Well, she did, and the question is, why did she do that? Well, how about that explanation, Mr. Justice? I believe the time for questions is over. The defense asserts that Florent LaBelle was at the scene of the crime. However, Jinxie Tenma has testified that she saw her father collapse there. If she has, in fact, misremembered the event, what could have made her do so? That one. Ooh, I don't want to pull that trigger yet. I don't, I don't have what I need. That's it, though. That's definitely it. The figure Miss Tenma saw was not her father. It was Flor Florent LaBelle disguised as Damien Tenma. Silence. Mm, that is a complete impossibility. Their faces are utterly unlike. How could you explain that away with a mere disguise? Uh, yes, they both do have incredibly distinctive faces. M maybe the disguise completely hit his face. I think Jinxie would have mentioned if she couldn't see her father's face. And if it was that sort of disguise, wouldn't she have removed it? Oh, right. Your sword is as dull as your mind, just Justin. Shall I show you what a truly sharp blade is capable of? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I promise I'm good. Ah, I think I'll pass. Ah! Ah! Am I dead? That she's wrong and I died? Hm. Are you okay, Apollo? I'm. I'm. Not fine, am I? Well, now that we have that little fairy tale out of the way, your baldness, your verdict, if you will. Uh, Mr. Justice, I believe it's time for a verdict if you have no further arguments. Wait, no, I do. Ugh, what's even left for me to do? We'll just have to find out what's left to do in the next episode. I feel like we're closing in on the end of this, so hopefully... Hopefully we've got something in our bag of tricks that will get us out of this. If not, we're in some trouble. Uh, so, as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.